Okay, so this is what you all have been waiting for. The main reason and why all of you has clicked on this video. Terminology manifestation or cards. So the first to have new moon in Aries, go for it. New moon in Taurus, know your worth. What? Does 75% of you guys not subscribed? Hit the notification bell as well as the subscribe button for more content similar to this in the future. New Moon in Gemini. Think it true. New Moon in Cancer. Relax. New Moon in Leo. Shine. New moon in Virgo, trust all will be all. Interesting. New moon in Libra, know your worth. New moon in Scorpio, go deeper. New moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. New moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. New moon in Aquarius, open up to change. New moon in Pisces, attune to the divine. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. First quarter moon in Taurus, release control. First quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being. First quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurity. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. First quarter moon in Virgo, assess this situation. First quarter moon in Libra, keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. First quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. First quarter moon in Pisces, honor your feelings. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. Full moon in Taurus, detoxify. Full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. Full moon in Cancer, let your fears dissolve. Full moon in Leo, go wild. Full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Full moon in Libra, find a balance. Full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. Full moon in Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. Full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. Full moon in Aquarius, be real. Full moon in Pisces, forgive. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Last quarter moon in Taurus, be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind. Last quarter moon in Cancer, take our breather. Last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Last quarter moon in Virgo, attend to the details. Last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self love.
Let's quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Let's quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. Let's quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Let's quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. Let's quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. So, first of all, the visuals, the art, it's amazing, it's excellent. And I realized that all of the new moon, it's all just landscape images. But it's all of it to its correspondence, um, fire stay. You know, if it's Aries, then it's fire stay. It has like elements of it. It has the colors that accentuates the vibe and the mood to it. Correspondence signs, which is amazing. And when it's slow, it has sunflowers. So it kind of reminds me of the sun. <laughs> in tarot and like libra it's lavender even gemini has its purple elements to it but i also noticed that this is scorpio scorpio has elements of water but in virgo see virgo it's earth and it has a lot a lot of greenery to it but when it comes to after new moon it's first quarter moon it has like little little specks of these which i have no idea what it's about but it also has like the silhouettes of people, be it the dancing, be it the meditating. Gemini is just two people, twins in fact, right? And like Cancer is like, all gloomy and shit. <laughs> it's a push through and insecurity. And this woman is just looking down, you know, being sad. And like Leo is all about be humble, so like meditate, channel your root chakra, whatnot. And Scorpio, you know, yoga, all of that. So it has, it speaks volume, it's not just the keywords. The visuals itself helps you to interpret on your own readings as well. Okay, and it has like all of this, um, yeah, which I have no idea what it's about. If you do, please drop it down in the comment section, please educate me. But like full moon, where else is no longer silhouette, it is just like the people with its um, colors, you know, except for Aquarius, it has a silhouette, but you get what I'm trying to say, like, that's quarter moon as people as well, I think it's very, very well made, um, this one, like, full moon in Virgo, okay, sorry, full moon in Virgo, Virgo, it's a woman, right, and if a woman in Leo, it's corresponding animals, or like, if it's cancer, then it was the, um, CD crap, and all of that, Gemini, it's twins, then Taurus, it's a bull. See, yeah, and it's like gold for Aries. So I think it's very, very well made. The material itself it feels a bit velvety, and it's not very big on my hands. So I do not have very big hands. I just have really long fingers, and I feel like it's very easily made. Okay, now it, it's easily made for people like with my hands to shuffle. This is one of my most favorite cards. It's a Sophie Wisdom Oracle deck. But it's a lot more bigger as compared to it. And I feel like Sophie Wisdom Oracle cards, it's made in a very typical Oracle card type of um, alignment. And it's very, very difficult. At least I find it really difficult to shuffle. Look at this. But if you have this deck, this feels a little bit more matte. And this feels really velvety. And again, the vibrancy of the colors, it just pops out. Right. And now let's get to the book. I've yet to read the book, but I feel like the whole opening experience is very nice. When you first take out the lid, then it's all like a tune to the moon and manifest miracles. Um, the unboxing experience is very normal, okay, for Oracle cards. They come with like this thing to keep the cards intact. And the cards box itself is very well made, but however, um, there's some form of like damage when it came um, to me, but it's perfectly fine, okay. Like, I do not really mind. And even the book itself, the guidebook, has its velvety texture, but not as much as the cards. So, now let's see. We have, like, the magical lunar cycle. Okay, so it's all about the moons, working with the cards, talking about the elements, then, like, new moon and cards, then talking more and more about each individual cards itself. So, it also has, like, um, three simple cards and how do you bless the cards if you want to do so. Introduction um the author the creator of this monology just thanking you and telling you each correspondent moon cycles what's it about and okay i wanted to say this as well um i do not have the original 
Monology cards, but I know that there's Gibbous Moon and all of that. But however, this card doesn't really have, or at least this deck, it just has 48 cards. I'm not sure about how many cards there is for the first Monology. Okay, but it teaches you a little bit about um the moon cycles, which is excellent. I got this book, I mean, I got this card because I want to know. I want to study uh, the moon cycles. So we have like new moon, what's it about? It's just a basic summary, you know, eight main phases we work with today, blah, blah, blah. So working with the cards, like the root chakra, there's a sacral chakra and all of that. Um, okay. So it's like each like first quarter moon cards is corresponding to what chakra, yeah, and what element and all of that. And like it's associated um plan planetary days. Okay, so it's like Sunday is associated with the sun, which guides the sign of Leo. Monday is associated with the moon, which guides the sign of cancer. Mm. And like it's hours, planetary hours. Then like if it, if you get like new moon in Gemini, think it through. Then it has like the um for the elaborated type of thing and like affirmations, which is excellent. Yeah, so it's a very good card for people who are manifesting, or working with like the divine, or trying to do some daily affirmations. So once again, the quality itself is excellent. I really like it. I do not regret getting it at all. And I would 100% get this over the original one because the colors itself just pops out. Okay, so this is all I have for you. Goodbye.